Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston. We're inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room for today's ISS update. It is Friday, September 2nd. The team here is watching over systems aboard the space station, all working well at this time as uh, the crew members are working through the early afternoon of their day. Let's see what you're talking about, Mike. Astronaut Rick Sterko is here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room, serving as the CAPCOM, or spacecraft communicator, speaking with uh, crew members on board the station, right now uh, coordinating an activity with astronaut Mike Fossum. Fossum and astronaut Ron Guerin have been working on an upgrade of uh, equipment on board the space station, uh, focusing on the communications system. Guerin uh, spent some of the time in his morning uh, rerouting some cables uh, data and Ethernet cables, and uh, Fossum is uh, working on swapping out two uh, boxes uh, called automated payload switches. They're part of an upgrade to the high-rate uh, communication system to help with the downlink of uh, payload or scientific experiment uh, data to uh, the uh, team on the ground. Patient. So we're hearing those, uh, if you just pull those pins, it should come off. It's a friction fit, not captive fasteners. While Fossum and Garen have been working on that inside the Destiny Laboratory, there's also been work on board the station by Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency Satoshi Furukawa in uh, maintenance activities. He has uh, worked, or he will work today, on the cycle ergometer on the station, adjusting uh, the pedals on that exercise machine just slightly to uh, help prolong the life of uh, the isolators that are on that uh, hardware that. Uh, help it uh, function properly. The um, isolators are working well, but uh, the replacements for those for uh, future uh, need when those uh, eventually wear out uh, were on the 44 Progress cargo spacecraft that was lost uh, last week. So there's a slight adjustment that is being done to how the cycle ergometer operates to help prolong the life of those isolators until a new set can be launched to the station on a future cargo uh, vehicle. Another uh, effect of that uh, cargo uh, uh, vehicle's loss was the uh, delay of the return of astronaut Ron Guerin and his crewmates. That was uh, delayed a week. Uh, they will be returning on the evening of September 15th uh, Central Time, landing in uh, Kazakhstan on September 16th. That includes uh, Guerin as well as the Soyuz command commander Alexander Samokutyayev and uh, the station commander Andrei Borisenko. Remaining on board the station will be Fossum and uh, flight engineer Sergei Volkov and uh, Furukawa from JAXA. The schedule for launching three new crew members, uh, NASA flight engineer Dan Burbank and Soyuz commander Anton Shaklaparilov and uh, Russian flight engineer Anatoly Ivanishin, uh, who will round out the Expedition 29 crew, which will be commanded by Fossum is under review as uh, NASA and its international partners assess the readiness for resumption of Soyuz launches. Astronauts Mike Fossum and Ron Guerin will be part of a news conference on Tuesday morning to talk about to the continuation of their mission and uh, Guerin's uh, soon return home. That will air on NASA television at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. Just Again, on Tuesday, September 6th.